Hi, and welcome to another video for Friday the 13th, The Game. Today, we will be pitting the game's most formidable version of our favorite serial killer against its most furtive counselor. The setting will be Pakanak Lodge, and the walkthrough will be taken from the counselor's perspective. As this will be more of a matchup than a tutorial, I will be leaving the in-game music on so that you can better experience the sense of peril and urgency placed upon the restless counselors. Are you ready for an epic showdown between two experienced players? Then let's get to it. Before we head to camp, I'll introduce our two rivals. In the fiery corner, we have the Savini version of Jason Voorhees. This overpowered hulking behemoth looks as though he had been sent straight from hell to dispatch with the intrusive teenagers trespassing in the vicinity of his home. He comes armed with the devil's pitchfork and also starts the game with four bear traps. His biggest weaknesses are his speed and grip strength, but what he lacks he gains in shift regularity, heavier weapon damage, and ease of overcoming barricades. In the goth rock corner, we have our challenger, A.J. Mason. This surreptitious introvert has the highest level of stealth of any counselor. Her composure is decent, and her repairability is also effective. However, her speed and stamina are below average, and should Jason get hold of her, it's game over. Right, the scene is set. The contenders have been announced, and the gloves are off. So let's get started. Straight from the off, I already know that I'm going to have to be on my very best form if I'm going to escape. First of all, any player using a Savini Jason is going to be an able killer. A very able killer. This version of Jason was only available to players who had pre-ordered the game, so they have had several months of game experience. They know the map well, they can predict player strategy, and they have honed their shift ability to enable an instant grab on an absconding target. Secondly, only two of the four methods as a means to escape will be open to me. Killing Jason is an improbability regardless of the team's competence. And enduring the extent of the match isn't likely to happen when facing such a proficient killer. I will either have to acquire the items to escape in a vehicle, or out -duke Jason after calling in the cavalry. I quickly realize that I have spawned by the wrong cabin on seeing the phone on the wall. Jason will be here soon, but the doors are locked so I'll rifle through the drawers as quickly as possible before leaving. Normally I'd make note of the cabin's location and return later, but my opponent won't be giving me time to breathe. Though I haven't found the fuse, I have located the keys, and something tells me I'm going to need them. A map, good stuff. I'll take the tape, And I'll swap the axe for the flare gun. One of my fellow counselors has the battery. I check the map as the music would suggest that Jason is close. I'll prepare to leave by opening the windows. And right on cue, Jason has arrived on the scene. Time to leave. I've been lucky to have attained most of what I need, but what I need now is to gain a moment of respite to formulate a plan of action. I'll leg it to the next cabin as opposed to the one directly opposite. Most Jasons will contend with those closest to them first, even the adept ones. Also, this early in the match, Jason hasn't quite set everything in place, 
so he'll have other things to focus on other than a lone counselor in a faraway cabin. I won't gain anything from this cabin as it has already been looted, but a quick check of the map tells me that the two-seater is the closest vehicle and has already been refueled. I have the keys, but unfortunately the battery is in the phone house and I'm sure that's where Jason will be. Though the door isn't locked, one of the drawers is open. I don't think we'll find anything of use here, but I'll have a quick scout round all the same. As suspected, nothing I don't already have. But they didn't do a thorough search. And as luck would have it, I found another battery. No time to stick around to gain a sense of where Jason is. I'll risk it and make my way to the car. Jog, don't run. It'll be harder for Jason to see me unless he's in the area. Damn, he is. And he sees me. Back to the cabin and quick. Looks like I'm going to be doing some window hopping before I get a chance to get to that car. safe for now, but he's laying a trap. The windows are broke, but it would seem that he has left. Another counsellor, no doubt. Now's our chance. No need to creep about, Jason's too busy to take note of me at the moment, and as luck would have it, it would appear that my previous attempt to get to the car had interrupted him from laying a trap. I can't make a mistake with this, I need the time to get the car in motion before his inevitable impending arrival. I quickly check the map to decide on my route. Start the car, and we're off. All set. Time to get out of here. Pack and axe roads are not the most accommodating. There isn't much room to maneuver, and there are plenty of places where Jason can block our route. I try to stay calm, but I know this is my best chance. If Jason gets wind of what I'm up to, He'll drop whatever he's doing to thwart my escape. <laughs> Too late. But I've still got control of the car and space to off-road it. Ha! Jason is stunned, but in my haste I have killed a counselor. No time to grieve. The car's stuck. I've got it. There's the main road. Shit, Jason. Yeah, he's got us, but not for long.
going to need to get some distance and a weapon. And then what? No time to worry about it. Get to a cabin to buy a bit of time and gain some stamina. That was a bit close. I'll spray myself even though he's broken the window. Won't have time to do it once we're out of the cabin. Here he comes. Let's go. I weave about the trees and rocks to disrupt his chance to grab me during his shift attempt. I could use another medi spray, but there's no time to stop and search. I've got a bit of time, but the drawers are open. Shit, back to the window. He's broke the doors and windows to that one, but not the next, and we've gained enough stamina to reach it. cornered. It's a one-door cabin, but we have a moment of respite. If I can get to the lodge during the next sprint, I know a few tricks that might duke him. He's coming through the door. Damn, I'm limping. It's over. But I didn't make it easy for him. It was a good match and I gave it my best. I hope you found this video to be entertaining and perhaps learnt a thing or two about facing an experienced Jason. Until the next video, take care and have a good day.